Hey guys, it's Gina. I'm going to run you through this layout I made today. I um, It's going to be a little bit weird to watch the video and listen to me talk because I had this weird idea that I would scrapbook and talk at the same time and that never works. So um, I need to give up that strategy really because it doesn't work here what I'm explaining to you here is that I used a Carrie Bradford template uh, to add all of these photos together and I ran out of uh, toner in my printer when I printed it out but it was only that one right hand side and I didn't want to print it out again and waste all of that ink and those sort of things so I'm just gonna cut off that one photo that I'm cutting off um, actually doesn't really mean anything to the layout it was already sort of captured um, in the other photos and then the, the right side of that photo with Sean and Eli didn't matter at all so instead of wasting all that ink and printing this out again I just um, cut it down so instead of having seven photos on this layout I have six uh, these were all layouts these were all photos taken when we were down in uh, Panama City Beach and we went to Pier Point and they have a bunch of little like amusement park rides and I thought at first that I would use the amusement park pack from uh, Becky Higgins, uh, the the Project Life cards to um you to do this layout. But when I decided on background papers and things like that, it actually didn't work because those are cream and they're dark cream backgrounds, so they didn't work with white so much. And so I'm going through all of the papers I had just uh, purchased all of these papers when I made this layout. And um, well, I don't have my supply list opened or anything. So I can't tell you when I made this layout. I'm recording this video on February the 14th. I'm getting ready to leave for Boston. And I'll be gone in Boston for um, two weeks. And so I really want to um, try to get a bunch of videos uploaded to my YouTube channel before I leave. So that uh, I can kind of keep going. Uh, and, and try to get on a, on a schedule, if you will, um, with my YouTube videos. Because my goal is to post a video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I have sorely not done that so um, I'm really trying to get caught up and um, really trying to um, get on some sort of schedule so it's sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for Con you know constant so I'm going to use this Bella Boulevard paper uh, it is Bella Boulevard you know it's really funny sometimes when I write my um, my supply list I actually write down like which ones it is uh, which paper I used for what, but this one I don't know. I think it's from the Lucky Stars collection, and I think it's called Treasures and Text. The background paper, that star paper that I'm using for the background is Bella Boulevard Lucky Stars. That one is called Scallop Stars, and then I think the one that I used for the photo mat is called Treasures and Text. So I know that I'm going to use that, um, that star background paper. I really like that. And then I'm going to pull this sticker off of this jelly bean soup. Actually, no, that is um, Bella Boulevard as well. It's called Scattered Sprinkles, and it's called Just Right Journaling Stickers. And I liked that the um, it was clouds. And so I pulled that off, and um, I'm actually using wax paper, which is shocking for me, I know. But I'm using wax paper to kind of put my stickers down to um, sort of move them around on the page before I actually put them on the on the layout so that I know that they work where I put them. I don't do that very often. Um, pretty much never is when I do that. And I don't know why I decided to do it this time. It was very strange, but I did. So uh, because I'm putting white stickers on top of a white background, I decided that I would use this Prima Chalk ink in tin can to uh, go around the edges of all of my layers all of my stickers here so that's a sticker it says the perfect day and those are from Bella Boulevard those are summer squeeze just right journaling stickers so you lots of Bella Boulevard on this on this uh, this layout that was you guys know I do this all the time that was a speech bubble and I hate speech bubbles I have a trouble I have trouble with my layers saying things it's just, you know, a personal preference. So I'm using this uh, speech bubble. I cut the speech part off of it, and it says smile big. So I'm just making a little cluster up here. When you're using these photo templates and adding a lot of photos to your page, you don't have a lot of room for embellishment, which works out well, well for me because uh, sometimes embellishing is not my favorite part of a layout, you know? Um, and when I spend so much time 
it's not that it takes a lot of time, but there does, when you're using one of these photo templates, it does take a, a little bit of time to get that photo template correct. Um, and, you know, to do all the resizing and the things you have to do to make sure that all of that, um, you know, all your photos show up and look right on your template. So, uh, so, you know, I tend to try to keep my pages as about an hour. This page took much longer than that. I don't know exactly how long, but I, it, that will be below the video. Um, so I added some, I'm just going through and I'm adding some more of these uh, stickers from those two sticker sheets. And I pulled out, you, if you saw in the beginning of the, you saw in the beginning of the um, layout, I pulled out three die cut packs. Um, I'm, I really need to use some of my die cuts because I own so many packs of die cuts and I don't use them very often. So the ones that I pulled out here are, um, there's two die cut packs that I'm going to use for this layout. One is, they're both from American Crafts. One is Dear Lizzie uh, Daydreamer, and the other one is, Amer is Amy Tangerine Sketchbook. And I used one of them. It says, remember this, um, that turquoise oval one down at the bottom. I'm uh, the bottom right there. I'm going to do my journaling on that. Not much journaling. I mean, we're all, you know. First, I'm, I'm going to put two titles on this. One is going to be Panama City Beach, and the other one's going to be Go on a Ride. So you don't need a whole lot of journaling when you do that, because the title tells you what's going on. Um, I'm fu fussing around here with what I'm going to put behind. You see I created that weird space you can see above that red sticker. So I'm playing around with how to fill that in to give it, um, to not make it look so weird. So I decided to use that hot air balloon um, there. And then again, I'm just going through, and even the white space on that hot air balloon sticker is kind of bothering me, but I'm going to get over that and just leave that there. So let's see, I'm looking at some letter stickers to see what I'm going to use for my title and I really wanted a turquoise uh, letter but it doesn't show up well enough on the background of that paper, this turquoise that I was going to use here or aqua or whatever you want to call it. So I, I am going to play around and try and not try and you have to realize too that I'm talking to the camera as I am scrapbooking this. So it took longer because I was trying to do that. Uh, and I really need to abandon that because sometimes I forget to talk and there'll be like long stretches when I don't talk at all. And then there will be, you know, stretches where, I, I mean, I have no idea. It's just not something that I'm comfortable doing yet. Like I need to really either commit to it and try to do it and, and, or not. And part of it is, um, if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to talk and scrapbook at the same time, I need to start with a plan. And I don't really start my layouts with a plan, so that doesn't work for me. But anyway, I'm going to use these American Crafts stickers from the sketchbook collection in the color charcoal to put the word beach up here. And then I am going to use some Webster Pages letter stickers from the Strawberry Fields collection to put Panama City above that. And you will see both of these things coming up here. Yeah. And because these are small, these Webster pages, uh, these uh, stickers are very small. Um, I'm using my X-Acto knife to put them down, as you can see. And it's going to take a little bit of time to fuss with that and get those exactly where I want them. And I'm going to have to pull them all up and push them all over because right now I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to put the word city on here. It's just going to have to be Panama Beach. Uh, but then I decide that, no, you need the word city Every time I try to be lazy, I can't. Um, and so I'm going to move them all over. And then it kind of pulls that balloon more into the layout as well. So I'm going to move the letters over so I can add the word city. So if you use your wax paper, as lots of you do, um, you can figure out all these spacing issues before you put your letter stickers down. But it's an ongoing joke in my videos, uh, really, because I don't do that. I'm, I'm constantly pulling things up and having to put them back down. And if I would just get in the habit of putting them on... it's it, You know, it's funny. It's a laziness thing for me. Like, I feel like, oh, I'm going to have to put them down on the wax paper, then I'm going to have to pull them up and put them on the, the layout. But I always put them down and pull them up anyway because I never get them on the layout exactly where I want them. So, go figure. Uh, I put that go on a ride there, um, and then I'm going to use some miscellaneous flair. The flair either came from Scraptastic or it came from the Click Kit, 
And one of them is a little black flare that says fave, and the other one, is, it says, oh, happy. And then I'm going to journal on this sticker that sort of says, remember this from one of those die cut collections. And the journaling just says, the kids, both child and adult, love the rides at Pier Point in Panama City Beach. And I'm going to use a couple of little letter uh, stickers to... to uh, put the date on there the letter stickers i'm going to use for this are from jelly bean soup they're called alpha beans and blended black i believe yes you'll see me i'm, I'm looking through flair now um but i will eventually put the date down on that um sticker because i feel like i have two pieces of flair on the layout so i need a third so i'm going to pull this one out and it just says laugh and i don't know who created that um who manufactured that flair and what am i doing here I'm going, um, because I have that red sticker across the top of the photo that says happiness is not a destination, it's a way of life, I felt like I needed a little bit more red on the layout, so I pulled out some, oh, you don't see me put the letter stickers down for the date at all. Well, that's weird. But I used some um, I used some enamel dots around the two uh, embellishment uh, centers at the bottom of the page just to pull some red down into the layout. And that is a final look at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. And um, I will be ne back next time with another one. You guys take care and have a good day. Bye.